All right, guys, today we're going to be reacting to the Soviet March Red Alert 3 Russian cover, the composer Jim Hannigan. We're going to be reacting to this great clip. Almost 20 million. Only 20 million. This is the real deal. So we're going to just jump in and see what's going on here. Let's go. He's mad, he's mad, bro. He made the video, but he's mad, man. I don't know why. He need to chill. He kind of too much uh, red comedy stuff for my taste, man. Uh, the song sounds very, very nationalistic, very early 2000, uh, 20th century. <clears throat> With a lot of, I would say, uh, nationalistic tendencies, right? With very strong, um, uh, Six, four, five, one chords, right? Not a lot of extensions, just to make it a grandios kind of sound, right? For the orchestra, a lot of symbols, right? Tan, tan, ta -ta, that give you like a strong sense of uh, marching, right? Very interesting, John, composer James Hannigan. Man, that was that was something else. I'm not, ain't gonna lie, that was something else. Ooh, this is more like a pro-communist video. Well, let me hear you guys think about this. Some of you guys are from Russia. You guys should let me know what you guys think. <sighs> Your opinion will be gladly uh, welcome. So let me know what you guys think about James Hannigan, the Soviet March, the Red Alert 3. And this is a song, I think, right? This is a song. Hmm. I, would, I would like to know more about you guys' opinion. Meantime, guys, I'll see you in the next one.